Welcome to the Everton News Daily. As the impact of Everton's 10 point deduction continues to be felt, uh, lots of stories every single day. Simon Jordan has weighed in today uh, on the club seeking compensation debate, the sensationalist headlines that uh, clubs are trying to sue Everton for £300 million. Um, Simon Jordan has said that those clubs are simply wasting their time in this pursuit. Uh, Jordan explained that it is difficult to see where Everton gained a sport advantage over these clubs. It's difficult to prove there was any kind of advantage there uh, relating to those other clubs. And said that there is, at what season do you um, decide that that advantage was gained, given that clubs have been relegated, number of clubs have been relegated during that process. And across the actual um, auditing period, Everton were nowhere near a relegation battle in two of the seasons. So therefore, Everton could argue that the £19.5 million losses had appeared in one of those seasons, where certainly the season where Everton got 59 points in that reporting um, year, and therefore were nowhere near relegation. So uh, you can understand how this argument can be battered away. Yeah, I get you would, as a fan of another of one of those clubs, you might feel a little bit aggrieved, but the, it has to be stated clearly many different occasions that this is to do with the stadium, the building of a new stadium. There's a lot of these um, charges, a lot of this financial information there is simply regarding someone's opinion of whether that should have been used or not, but a lot of it does directly correlate to the stadium. Even if you split that £19.5 million over, let's do it over three years, even though it was a four-year reporting period, let's do it over three years. That's £6.5 million a season that Everton would have been over. Is that £6.5 million really causing one of those sides to get relegated. I can't see it like that. Jordan goes on to say that even if in the unlikely event there was any chance of compensation, and he only names two clubs who could potentially do it, he said it's highly unlikely they would get anything. It would be a small amount. He said I'd be amazed if it was in the millions. And I saw this the other day where one of a lawyer was talking about it, just generally out briefing it about the compensation. He was like, the most Leeds could probably get is around two million pounds because it was only a place, a meta place, ever even if Everton had the ten points taken off them. The problem is with the Premier League. It's not with Everton in terms of when the sanctions were put in. So it's not Everton's fault if they have been deduct the points that the points weren't put in last season. That's up to you can't retrospectively go back and put them in. It's not in the rules. That every one of the Premier League teams have signed up to these rules. So you can't then say after the event I would you know, because I'd seen that argument the other day with people. Well, you've agreed to these uh, profit and sustainability rules, so therefore there's got to be some punishments. Fine. Then those teams who are playing in the Premier League have signed up to the thing of you can't pick and choose when you want those points taken off to help your cause. So, uh, like I said, I can understand some fans, you know, clinging on to that from rival clubs, but the reality is it's very, very difficult to prove any can at any point that that was a reason why you went down. You went teams are relegated because they don't get as many points as anyone else. It's just the way it is. Um, as it carries on, more information has now emerged about David Phillips, the KC, who was the chair of the commission that found Everton guilty. Um, there's been a lot of stuff put out about in the last few days, but it's now emerged that he sat on an FA panel who decided to find Everton a record £300,000 for a pitch invasion uh, after the Crystal Palace victory couple of seasons ago that kept Everton in the Premier League was May 2022, 18 months ago. Um, this is obviously going to put the spotlight back on to the impartiality of this fella. Um, we'll wait and see, but that is out there today. So that just goes on to... This case is is literally changing every every few hours. There's different circumstances being being put out there by journalists and, and other people. So it, it is a mess. It's a huge mess right now. Um, we'll see what happens. Everton, of course, have got 
nine days to register their appeal. They are going to do it, obviously. It's, it's been discussed, but they've got to formally register their appeal. They did say on Friday that the appeal process had begun, so this will be evident, gathering evidence over the last few days. That will go in uh, shortly. Uh, Everton's director of football, Kevin Thelwell, released a statement today saying that the players and staff at Finch Farm are focused on the progression that they have made in recent times. We won six of the nine last nine matches. They're in good form. The unity is there. Kevin Thelwell uh, talked about the uh, backing of the supporters. Note that every Evertonian is behind them. We'll continue to draw on that strength from them and keep moving forward. He did go on to say that uh, he backed uh, Everton's interim CEO, Colin Chong's statement the other day about the wholly uh, unjust and disproportionate uh, points deduction that has been applied on the sporting um, front to Everton. He, uh, he backed that statement by Colin Chong. Everton have just simply shown dates in the plays. They've just got to keep doing what they were doing before this news come out. They were in really good vein of form, looking up and that's what they've got to got to focus on uh, as we move forward and Sheffield United manager Paul Heckenbottom spoke today praised Everton on the pitch and said that the progression is there for all to see he said they should have a lot more points than what they've got at the moment he said but even with the points deduction he backs them to uh, to climb out of trouble anyway he said they just hope we finish above them but he also did say that basically this can't be the only time that this is this is applied this has to be. This will only become a justifiable um, punishment if it is applied to other clubs. And he said a lot of other clubs will be looking over the shoulders now, and Everton obviously will be watching on with interest to see whether this is applied to other clubs as well. So that was from him. And last night, uh, England under twenty ones beat Northern Ireland at Goodison Park three 0 The under twenty one side was captained by Everton's. Jared Brantwaite. Uh, the only thing from an Everton perspective is it was Liverpool players that scored the goals. There you go. But a good win for Lee Carsley's under-21 side last night. Uh, make sure you check out a new Inside the Game podcast on More Done Again with former Everton player Gareth Farrelly. It's excellent. It's out now. Make sure you go and check that out. Give the video a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. See you later.